Welcome to BBC Points West on this cold Wednesday evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Our main story tonight, railway workers to the rescue. They abseiled down an embankment to clear a major line in Somerset after the rain caused a landslide. Access is really difficult here at Crewe Kern Tunnel. The line isn't expected to open until Monday at the very earliest. And on top of that, more wet weather is approaching. Our other headlines tonight. How artificial intelligence is transforming the health of elderly people in Somerset by spotting patterns of illness. And we surprise the incredible Hamza, a football coach who's been chosen as our sporting hero. Good evening, it's nice to be with you. The heavy rain of the last few days is continuing to cause misery, with more downpours expected in the next few hours and days. In Somerset in particular, some roads and rail lines have taken a real battering. Emergency teams are tackling the damage right now in advance of further rain tonight. Here's Ross Pollard. Well, you're watching Points West and we're live here on BBC One. Have you noticed anything different about us tonight? Yes, I've got a new tie. Oh, and beside that, we have a, a brand new set. It's uh, very modern and shiny. Um, we love it and I hope that you'll like it too. Now, there's uh, still lots more to come, including the first sellout crowd at Twerton Park in 50 years as Bath City take on Yeovil Town tonight. And more rain, potentially heavy rain, is on the way as we head later tonight and into tomorrow. We have a sequence of Met Office yellow weather warnings out for that. I'll have the details later in the programme. He is standing by, but first GPs are starting to use artificial intelligence to identify patterns in people's health. Now, the nominations have closed, the shortlist has been drawn up, and I'm pleased to say, after much careful deliberation, we have a winner. This year's BBC West Unsung Sporting Hero Award is a Bristolian who started a community football club. Hamza Hassan runs Phoenix Next Gen in Lockleys, coaching six to 18-year-olds. Jules Hyam went to surprise him. See, I didn't know any of that. Every day is a school day, but we're going to have a happy Christmas, aren't we, if possible? Uh, but we've got some uh, bad weather to get through potentially first. Ian is here with me in the studio. Hi, Ian. Today has been another day of respite, much like yesterday, from rain I'm talking about, uh, David. Yes, hello, everybody. Well, we had uh, weather watcher pictures this morning from Shaftesbury. Thanks to Courier Ant for that one. Uh, you'll notice the fog was quite conspicuous in the distance there. Not so at Western Supermare. Beautiful photograph, I think, despite the cloud. Thank you to Roy C for that one. Uh, well, it's going to be a different story tomorrow. And uh, yet again, we have Met Office yellow warnings for heavy rain. But you'll see that uptick in temperatures through this period, above average for the time of year. That said, the weekend again will see further periods of rain. Saturday morning looks prone. Sunday probably morning looks prone. There will be some drier spells despite how the graphics are shaping up there. Not all bad news, but hardly good news. I'm a bit fed off of getting soaked, aren't you? Uh, yeah, so are my dogs. Okay. <laughs> will you come back tomorrow? Oh. We're going to need you. Thank you so much for that. I have loved being with you this evening. Thank you so much for your company. I'm back again at 10. But for now, from all of us on the team, uh, thank you for watching and bye-bye.